What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Rude English. Today we're going to be discussing some common and potentially embarrassing minimal pairs. If you've ever received any strange or confused looks from people when you're speaking English, it may be because you're pronouncing a word incorrectly and accidentally saying a rude word. If that is the case, then keep watching because we're going to be discussing those words now. So, what is a minimal pair? Well, a minimal pair is a pair of words which differ by just one sound. For example, mad and bad. These words differ by just one sound, and sometimes it can be difficult to hear the difference. They could cause confusion if you hear them out of context. You're probably already familiar with lots of minimal pairs, but there may be some which you're not familiar with. And these could potentially cause some em embarrassment if the minimal pair includes a rude word. Let's look at the first rude minimal pair now. Hi there, and welcome to my restaurant. What can I get you to drink? I'd like a cock, please. Yep, that's right. Some people get confused between the words coke and cock. I've spoken to many people who have visited English-speaking countries and spent the whole time asking for a cock whenever they went to a restaurant or a bar. Remember that English spelling doesn't accurately reflect English pronunciation, and the letter O doesn't always produce the O sound. In fact, the letter O can produce the O sound in words like clock, or it can produce the O sound in words like phone, and it can also produce the A uh sound in words like money. So remember that the letter O produces the O sound in the word Coca-Cola. Ed, did you do the washing? Yeah, I put some shits on your bed. Of course, what I actually meant to say was sheets. I put some sheets on your bed. For many students, the difference between the long and the short vowel sounds may not be obvious. And you may not think it's very important, but for native speakers, the difference is obvious. And it is important because the difference between the long and the short vowel sound is effectively the difference between two different words. There are a couple of other common minimal pairs which include a rude word and differ by just this long E sound and the short I sound. For example, beach and bitch, or peace and piss. The long e sound is produced by tensing our tongue and pressing it towards the top of our mouth when we make the sound. E, e. It's usually represented by the letter combinations ee -E or ea. In contrast, the i sound is produced with a relaxed tongue and it can be represented by any vowel letter. So remember to tense your tongue when you're producing these long vowel sounds to differentiate the words from other words. It's hot in here. Can I open the window? No, you cunt. It's broken. Here we have another example of a minimal pair which differ by just a long and a short vowel sound. The R sound in can't and the a uh sound in cunt. Can't is probably one of the most common words in the English language and cunt is probably one of the rudest so you don't want to get confused between these two. Remember we tense our tongue when we produce these long vowel sounds so remember to tense your tongue when you say the word can't. What's your favourite animal? That's easy. Horse. Of course, what I actually meant to say was horse, as in the animal, horse. But if you accidentally produce the z sound instead of the s sound, you risk saying the word horse, which is another word for prostitutes. This demonstrates an important rule of English. When does the letter s produce the s sound? And when does it produce the z sound? The letter s produces the s sound 
when it appears at the end of singular nouns, such as horse. But it produces the z sound when it appears after another voiced sound at the end of plural nouns, such as whores. Well, that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I didn't offend too many people. If you want more videos like this in the future, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.